Now to an almost unthinkable question. Could your employer be betting on your life in order to profit from your death? This is essentially what some companies are doing by taking out life insurance policies on their employees. Our senior national correspondent, Claire Shipman, has more on this, and we're going, huh? How can exactly. this be? Exactly. Life insurance policies on their employees, but who gets the money when they die? The employer. Robin, we were stunned when we saw this in Michael Moore's latest film. These schemes that really give your employer a reason to literally wish you were dead. But it's nothing personal, just about the bottom line. Hello, I'm Ed. Not so long ago, life insurance was pretty You're straightforward. Man. You need life insurance protection most right now. Offering security to loved ones in a tough time. So when Irma Johnson learned her husband Daniel, who died of brain cancer, had been insured for 1.5 million, that should have been at least a small comfort. Except she didn't get the money. His employer did. You didn't know about it. No. It's one of the most bizarre free market perversions Michael Moore highlights in his latest film, Capitalism, A Love Story, a corporate practice dubbed Dead Peasants Life Insurance. Companies secretly bet on employees' lives, expecting to make a buck when they die. Mike Myers, the attorney who's uncovered many of the cases and has helped angry relatives sue, says it's pervasive. Life insurance is traditionally used to guard yourself against the loss of a breadwinner or someone who's very important to you. This is used as an investment scheme. Meyer says dozens of blue chip companies have these policies, but only banks are forced to reveal them. Several have billions of dollars worth. We wondered why companies would even be interested. The driving force behind it is the tax deductions. That's right, a tax break. It was designed to let companies insure a few crucial executives, but savvy companies realized they could also get a tax break insuring a lot of lower level employees. It's a financial scheme that doesn't actually cost the employees anything, except some say their trust. But Tina Tillman felt shocked, deceived, when a Wall Street Journal reporter told her her brother, a music store cashier, was insured by his employer for $339,000 when he died, though he no longer even worked there. We were just in disbelief that they were able to do it and actually cash the policy, a cash in on the policy. She sued and won. Now the government mandates companies get employee consent. Amogee Bank told us that Daniel Johnson gave his consent, but Irma Johnson says that's not true, and she's suing. Congressman Gene Green has been pushing for even tougher restrictions. Nobody's really being hurt, but it's so clearly creepy. Yeah. So, you know, how do you get at what, you know, what really is wrong with this? Well, we hope our laws are based on not only fairness, but uh, morals. And to me, it's immoral for me to benefit from your death if I don't know you. Meanwhile, for those who feel wronged and were never told about the insurance, it's up to them to brave the court system. It was a matter of making sure that we did the right thing and that it was something that would honor our brother. We sent a message across to that, that company to let them know, you may have gotten away with it all these years, but not this time. Mm. Not this time. And Claire, you know, I don't know if you want to know, but how can you find out if your employer has taken a life insurance policy? I on know you? this is one of the problems. It's not easy to find out because until 2006, there was no federal requirement for companies to let their employees know. Now they are required to let them know, but again, the documentation is very hard to come by. And I think until that tax break is gone, companies are going to keep doing it. Like I said, nothing illegal, but you said it, but creepy. creepy. It's just uh, the word of the day. Yeah, it is creepy. the word of the day. We've heard that a time or two. <laughs> Have a good weekend, Claire. Thanks. Thank you so much. We would love to know what you think about this. So go to our website at abcnews.com.